Yeah. You know, anyway. you used to be a bad guy in the, in the wrestling world. Now you're a good guy. How did you make that switch? Well, you know, I mean, to me, you're a good guy all the time. But. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to say. You know, when I came to the WWF World Wrestling Federation about 78, 79, I needed a little management, man. I was kind of new up here, and I didn't really know what was going on. So mm -hmm. Mr. Fred Blassie offered me a lot of money if I do his things his way. Well, you know, I'm still wrestling the same way. The fact that I started training, saying my prayers, eating my vitamins, and I got rid of Freddie Blassie, that's what the people get off on, you know. I don't need his guidance anymore. The fact that I go in the ring, I try to wrestle fairly, but when somebody takes a cheap shot at me, I like to give them a little receipt. You know? uh -huh. It's kind of like, do unto others before they do unto you. And that's what the people in New York City and all over the world get off on, man, because I'm a survivor, I take care of business, and the thing is, I fear no man. I believe you. Can you dig it? I can Are dig you it. a man? I can dig it twice. Are you a man? What do you think? I really don't know. You want to step outside? <laughs> Let me see. Why don't you guys, no, why don't you guys, I want you to show me some, some no, we ain't showing you moves. moves. We didn't come here, we didn't come here to show no moves, moves, man, what? you know. We didn't come I'm to talking show to moves, him, you know? man, okay? You want to see some moves, you grab your clothes, oh, take a ticket. Will. Yeah. Let, let, <laughs> all right, we gonna show, are we going to show you some moves? Come on. Elementary. We're going to show you some moves. There's certain uh, terminology in wrestling. For certain You're going to show you the body slam. Take those glasses off. You're going to show you the body slam. Take off my glasses. We're going to show you the peach squeak sandwich. You just stay right there. Don't you come over here. That's right. Okay. You know. Now, uh, the camel crusher, what's that? Camel clutch. I don't camel use clutch. that move because... Well, show me one of the moves that you, you use. What's well, your famous move? Well, I'm going to have to stick to the basic of you. The floor is a little hard here, and I don't want you getting hurt. There's something well, I don't want you getting hurt either, so, you know, be careful. Yeah, you can apply, you know, nice and easy if you'd bend over. Ah! No, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. All right, okay. Now, the first thing you need to know about amateur wrestling. Yes. Or professional wrestling. <laughs> well, you just tell me, brother, when you want him to quit squealing, okay? All right. It's called a front chin lock. <laughs> How about it, T? Keep it like that for a little while. <laughs> because... He's all right. He's just sleeping. He's sleeping. Really, that's, I, was, I was a sleeper hole. He'll be all right. He's waking up now. That was a serious right, A lot of people. See? It works. All right, brother. And now, we'll be right back after this word from you know who. You hear the we'll thing? be right back. Richard was hurt. It was an accident. Uh, Hulk didn't mean to do it. Uh, these things television. happen in television. It is live television. And now I think Hulk and T should just talk about this kind of thing, how it can happen, and how to avoid it. No, well, you know, um, I feel really bad about the situation. Richard asked me to demonstrate a professional wrestling hold. And that's exactly what I did. I uh, pushed what is called a front chin lock on the man. And uh, when I released him, he fell and hit his floor. It's, it's a situation where... Uh, you need to be a professional at all times, and, and the type of hold when I would put that on, on, a, on a professional wrestler, I would apply probably ten times as much pressure. I didn't realize that uh, apparently he doesn't do any physical training at all. You know, I, I'm not sure because, you know, you know I, I don't, I'm not saying that in a smart way. I, I really apologize. I mean, you know, usually something like that I could put on Mr. T and there would be no problem at all, you know, because he didn't uh, give me any type of sign. Or say anything. I, you know, it's a situation where I would just like to warn people that if you're not a professional athlete or not a professional wrestler, don't try to copy what you see the athletes or the professional wrestlers do on TV. All right, in the, uh, the add to what the Hulk's saying, this man is the champion of the world in wrestling. I don't know if you've seen the piece a while back on 2020, a reporter asked one of the wrestlers was wrestling fake or for real. So the wrestler slapped the interviewer twice upside the head. The guy I wanted to know was the fake for real. I think he found out it was for real. Like I was saying earlier, this is not a joke. 
You see me training out here, I am serious. I don't get in that ring with these two guys I'm going up against Sunday. Joking. These guys are dangerous. I got to know what I'm doing. I used to be much better. I've trimmed down. I lost 27 pounds in four weeks. Like I said, I've been training with the Hulk. You know, in this we're training hard. I'll be eating right. We're throwing each other around. I have to be in top physical condition. I've been examined by a doctor, make sure I'm healthy. It's, it's too many people going around saying, hey, I think it's phony. I think this here, you know. The man asked, this is a champion. I wouldn't ask him myself to put me in a wrestling hole. He didn't get to be the heavyweight champion of the world in wrestling by playing.